All right, so this is kind of getting a little bit strange to me now. This is not like the Jackson headstock that I worked on for Weedy Guitar Studios. Um, and this is not anything that I've seen before on anything else that I've stripped down on a guitar or, or whatever. Now, you can clearly see the black on this rag, okay? That was the black paint that was uh, covering up the other logo that was on here, all right? Now, what I'm doing is I'm seeing a bunch of different layers of, of what I thought would be black, and it's not. So they do have some type of a plastic cover inlay or whatever you want to call it on top of this. And you can clearly see that, you know, here's a different color compared to over here and there's a spot over here and a little bit over here. So I'm going through the layers, but as I'm going through these layers, um, it's not black, which is kind of strange to me because what did they do? Clear? Because that's kind of what it's looking like to me. So I have my piece of sandpaper here and I'm wet sanding this. I'm not dry sanding. I got my piece of sandpaper here. And I'm going over this headstock quite a few times just to kind of even out these blotchy spots over here. Because when I put the paint on here, I want it to be pretty much, you know, even or consistent all the way through. Now, as I'm standing here, you see it's milky. It's not black. Which is, to me, clear coat. So there was no logo, as far as I could tell, on top of this plate that they put on the headstock. But as I'm going through and sanding here, this is like a milky color, it's kind of like a milky gray because I am sanding plastic too. But this has been going on for a very long time. So all this area over here where I'm sanding right here should be completely black. I mean, I should be able to go like this and my finger should be black, all right? It's not. It is some type of a, let me use this rag here just to show. See, it's dirty, but not, not the color that you would think of it being by looking at this. So I am going through the layers that are on here. And if I hit it with the air, dry it off a little bit. clearly see that you know I've got a little bit over here now and just a tiny spot over here a little bit around this peg and yeah it, it's coming off now this is showing me that it's basically you know this is a plastic top but these darker spots is some type of a spray that they put on here but between sanding the plastic and sanding the clear coat yeah that's going to turn into like a grayish type if it was paint it'd be looking like this so yeah, this is kind of strange. I don't know why they layered it the way they layered the clear on here. So they put the plate down, they cleared it. I don't know. Put a logo down on top of here. That wasn't the right one. Figured out they made a mistake, sprayed it black, put a new logo on here and then cleared over that. So. That's the only thing I could think of why this is looking like and coming out the way it is. I was actually waiting to see if I see another logo coming through on top of the black, black plate. And uh, so far I haven't seen it. I'm all the way down to the black plate. So, but yeah, and you could tell there's a black plate on here because you could tell by the way it looks around the edges. But, uh, strange. Real strange. Interesting, but strange.